Claire's doing. Why did you shoo her out of the bathroom so you could actually walk out of it and go and make some breakfast? Use shower. Yep, you need it. And clean it. And then there's going to be some breakfast for you. <laughs> there we go. Right. Damien doesn't need to work on mood, but I wouldn't bet charisma is going to be important. So let's get you talking into a mirror for a little bit. And we'll try to do something interesting with Ellen. Though I'm not entirely certain what at the moment. Oh, actually, I think I know what I want to do with you. I think I want you to pop out. Mm, no, don't go down that route. I think I want you to pop out to here and see if you can pick up some uh, <laughs> Phantom of the Movie Lots. Oh, yes. Mm. See if you can pick up some karate stuff. So, tell me, are you doing anything tonight? And by the way, do you know any of deserted wells or anything like that? I like them. I like going to see them. I like going to see them with people who don't tell other people that they're going to see deserted wells. <laughs> Actually, how are we doing thinking about it? 16,406 simoleons of 20,000 simoleons. I think that's actually doable. Don't buy a dryer. I think this place is a messy enough without it. And Tallulah, my love, how are you doing? It's the only book you've got, but fortunately with toddlers you can live with just one book. Yeah, I don't want to do it that way. It's uh, um, I can see why, and if I get absolutely desperate I will, but uh, <clears throat> I'd actually like them to find a way in-game to do it. Until I get bored with the idea. At which point I will probably use by debug. So they take. Oh, I. I. Ah, ugh, apoplectic. I dislike the subway system. <laughs> uh, um. About the age that Tulula is, most children go through a stage where they get absolutely obsessed with something. Um, uh, my own son watched, um, what was it, it's not, oh, what was it called, Beauty and the Beast, thousands of times between the ages of two and four. Yeah, um, right up to the point where we conveniently lost that tape because people were getting ready to kill him over it. So let's see if there's anything we can buy here. Uh, nothing else. We shall. Oh, here we go. Can we put that in your inventory? Oh, okay. Decided to scrap it. I thought I'd take that home and give it to Damien. Yeah, look, something for your window. Um, have a friendly introduction and then buy some items. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh, okay. I if I did that with the right character, really, wouldn't it? So, right. Friendly introduction and buy items. <laughs> Oh well, okay, that, that actually wasn't that bad, but yeah, um, the complete obsession thing is very frustrating sometimes, especially if you're a parent and you have to listen to it. Uh, 
You go and use your potty chair, and then you can go and play with your box. Um, yeah, okay, what's the time? Right. Let's organize a party, and then I think you're going to have to go and rest a little bit. Or we can sort this out first. Um, Handiness, Charisma, Logic, and Gardening. No, oh, nothing karate rated there, is there? And while those books seem to have good prices, I think they would actually wipe them out if they bought them. And has it got anything good sign? No, All right. In which case, what I think I want you to do is while you're out, let's go and do some things with you. There's no reason for you to be at home all the time. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is go to the bookstore, and then you might as well go to the festival. Let's pick some flowers or something like that. So, bookstore, shop for books. And Damien, let's organize a party with you. So. Fake passing out. Okay, it's got to be tried. <laughs> and. More. Throw party. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, he's such a ham, isn't he? I've got to be honest, uh, uh, it's one of my favourite books, Alice in Wonderland. I think partly because I was obsessed with... Um, I was pretty much obsessed with the whole thing as a teenager when I found out that um, uh, Alice Riddell was uh, buried fairly close to where I live. Okay, so, birthday party time to start is what's the time now three let's make that 6 p.m. and the dress code well if Damien had his way it would be swimwear but no okay so I have him um, Ivan Anyone else you actually well okay if people you have a relationship with let's get a few of those in and yep I think that actually will be enough <laughs> Simon Rainbow's Orden or the Orden yeah. Simon Rainbow's awesomeness random ra ran raid randomness random do you mean randomness there? Simon Rainbow's awesomeness randomness greedy pink black kaboom blaboo Jaffa cakes January ooh Jaffa cakes mm. Right party will start at six Oh croon uh, croon of evil and uh, I'm not going to put throw a great party because there's absolutely no way we're going to do that. But let's get a birthday cake quickly. And let's see if we can pawn a couple of, uh, buy a couple of bits and pieces we'll pawn immediately afterwards. So, uh, um, entertainment. There we go. That's what I wanted. Party. Birthday cake. Put it there. I said put it there. Thank you very much. Have some rather sad party balloons. And that. And let's actually get some music in. So let's have a little radio. And we shall play some music. And perhaps people can talk and dance. Uh, right. That'll do. It's not like we actually had much money to work with there. And I've just realized to me, I've just bought that all just before she went into the shop. So that was good timing. Did I get January for Christmas? As a matter of fact, it's just turned up.
Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's clean that up. Clean up, and then I think you can take a nap for a few hours. Uh, children's stories. I want one more. Don't know why I'm buying that now, just as she's aging up, but... Uh, I'm actually thinking I'm going to get Ellen to join the Book of the Month Club. Right, so let's get a a book. An Ultimate Guide to Overhyping Sensationalism. That sounds like a good book. Right, there we go. Anything to sell? No. Buy the items and you head home. don't know to be totally honest with you so it would be absolute fun to do some sort of cartoon work or something like that um, you know I could do the voices for Magical Diaries the movie uh, narration is a lot of fun but when you're editing your own work it's actually terribly terribly time consuming turn on change to Change to... Not like I can hear it. Indie! Let's have some indie music. Now where are you going, boy? Where are you going? My goodness, he's being tidy. Okay, so, right. Go and have that nap I asked you to do, right? Uh, in fact, we'll just do nap. I would certainly like to do it. Uh, I need to improve my skills in terms of reading because while I am fairly good at enunciating and things like that, but um, I don't know. I, I think, to be totally honest with you, I would be good at recording books for deaf folks. You know, I wouldn't have to work very hard at all at that one. Right, let's get back to the game. Right, you need to eat. Eat leftovers. Renoir grapes, pancakes, and you, when you've finished eating, finished napping rather, let's cook, serve some lunch, let's have some goopy carbonara, there we go. Because that's ideal food to eat at a birthday party. In fact, fob this. Ellen, when you are done, why don't you... Go and order some food. Servitith, call for Servitith. You get some pizza. Another question, Simon. Potatoes, bonjour, Tokyo, grey wolf, sheep. Da 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 doo, ba ba da doo, blah 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 blah. Awesome this time. Oh yes. Why do I get the feeling I'm being tested? Right, okay, right. Our first victim approaches. Uh, right, let's have pizza. They do it. They don't do Chinese anymore. Okay, well, we're having pizza then. Okay, excellent. And Damien, get out here and say hello. <laughs> friendly introduction. <laughs> They've talked on the phone, but they've never actually spoken face to face. And he's written a, a dozen. Oh, what the hell? Ask the pillow fight. And if the other. And you clean that up, if you would. <sighs> oh dear. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay. I'll be done now. <laughs> well, that was a good start to the party, wasn't it? Right, Damien. Actually, don't pillow fight. Dance with him. Dance together. Dance together. Yes. And Ellen. What on earth would Ellen do at a party? Here's the question. What would Ellen do at a party? 
I think she danced in the kitchen. Actually, chick. I have no idea why I did that. Uh, actually, there is something I want to do while I'm thinking about it. So you call services, and then you dance by yourself. There we go. Many years ago, when the internet was young and novel, there was a thing called the Internet Oracle, where people would send emails to an address, and... I can't remember what I call it here. I uh, can't remember why I was doing that. Okay, People would send in the questions to the internet, um, the internet Oracle, and the Internet Oracle would reply in... A weird way. That was that was the whole thing. It was basically trying to outweird each other across the internet. Oh, okay, another one didn't actually make it in the door. Well, hey, right, okay, right, Damien, time to schmooze. Friendly. Ask about Almata. Friendly. Gossip. Friendly. Share secrets. And, uh, yeah, I, I used to do the both sides of that. I used to do the Internet Oracle and the person asking questions. And there was so many different variations on how much wood would a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood that uh, we started doing the, res the, the results in seriously stupid ways. And uh, I once answered that question in binary. The most annoying thing is the person I sent it back to actually got it, which was, you know, a bit wrong, to be honest with you. All right, you guys talk and then... Ooh, who's that? Pizza. Oh yes, Ellen, would you be a dear and answer the door for me? Receive the pizza. And Damien, when you're done, let's blow out the candles. I forgot that jumped in front of everything. <laughs> Dada Baba, Sheep George Lama, Ellen Damien, Tiara Tallulah, Sheep Boom Boom Lime Party Fun Lord. It's time to see what child she grows up into. Here's the man that Daddy's chatting up, and here's Auntie Ellen. All come to say, welcome you into childhood. Aren't you so lucky? Get on with it! And here you are, and growing into childhood in this appalling house. Now that is scary. Oh, in that case, definitely Boom Boom. Come on! Thank you! Okay. So she's friendly and she's good. We don't do the magic stuff yet, but I'm thinking about buying... I'm thinking about buying it if... She does, uh, if, if we play this a bit more. And it looks like we're going to be playing this a bit more, so I'm just thinking about what we should do as a next rate. And... I, I, I think this is Taluda, so that one's right out the window. Um, that one would be horrible, to be totally honest with you. Uh, any suggestions, guys? Rebellious, I'm going to hold off until she's a teenager, I think. Um, <laughs> I 
I actually like the idea of artistic. I'm just trying to think what we're going to do with her. Um, and it's really silly of me. You know, it's just goes to show I wasn't planning on playing this. I haven't actually thought about this yet. Uh... Frugal, no. Anglet, no. Shy, no. Genius, oh god, no. Over emotional, possibly. Neurotic, no. Heavy sleeper. Insane, no. Workaholic, no. No, that's not working. I'm not liking any of them. Excitable. Let's do excitable. Let's do excitable. Uh, or do we do rebellious? Uh... Uh, let's do re okay. Let's do rebellious. Let's do rebellious, and why not? Let's do rebellious. <laughs> Tallulah Gravener, the rebel. Oh, would you look at that face? You call that a cake? I call that disgusting. Okay, let's get you. Uh, let's go and plan some clothes for you and we'll buy you a bed and things like that and and you'll have to excuse daddy because he's going to go and pop into the bedroom to ha have a talk with ivan so plan outfits daddy damien i want you to let's be a little bit flirty let's see what happens if you be flirty um I'll ask you single flirty to a flirtatious joke. Let's see how that that. Uh... Yep, you missed uh, the uh, tiara wearer herself growing up, and I don't think I've got a child tiara yet, but I will certainly sort one out. Ellen, what are we going to do with you? I think well, you carry on dancing because you were actually having fun doing that, so. And we need to sort this room out. But we'll do that before Tallulah goes to bed. Probably in a panic because we just realized Tallulah needs to go to bed. That's it, my dear. You drown your sorrows in cake. Come on. Is this flirtatious joke going to work? I'll just grab a slice. Everyone else is. They're so boring. Alright, put away leftovers. Put away leftovers and answer your phone. And you, would you kindly change your outfit as I asked you to? Mm, I'm 